Driveways are an important part of your property. Today we're going to talk about driveway management. We have Roger Overton with us. Roger, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, when I just uh, build a house out in the country and I've got my driveway, what are some of the things I need to know when we start with management of that driveway? Well, you need to start out with a base rock. Okay. It depends on how how soft your driveway is, whether you use the bigger or the smaller or the whatever. Smaller you rock. go with three inch or inch and a half, mainly what I use for a base rock. Depends on how soft the ground is. Okay. And then, like I say, I I usually like to put it on when they start the house. That way, the concrete trucks and all the all your uh, building trucks and everything can pack it in for you. And you talked about the base. Does it matter what type of, you know, clay and dirt you have underneath you know, there? Yeah, it depends on, you know, if they if they come in and they got to put a lot of fill in, it's usually, the, you know, it's usually soft and you usually use a three-inch rock to, to put down for a yeah. base. And if it's scraped off down to clay, it's a virgin dirt type deal, it's hard. You know, like I say, you can usually get by with a smaller base rock. On our driveway, Roger, we have some problems with mud holes and potholes. What can we do about that? Well, let's say you can take and scrape off some of your loose rock around the edges and put in your holes or else come and, you know, you can get five-gallon buckets and fill your holes and sort of pack them in and, and get them filled in that way because the main thing is to keep the water out of them because every time you go through them with water in them, it just it squishes out right. and makes yeah. them bigger. Roger, how do we keep the water from just r rushing right down the driveway and making ruts? You know, you need to have it crowned, and then you, you can go in if it's a real steep driveway and make sort of a berm-type deal. Okay. It only needs to be three or four inches high, just like a speed bump, except, okay. for, except for angle it downhill. And that way it'll catch the water coming down your track and, and push it off into the grass. Or so you need whatever. a couple of those? A couple of them. Depends on how, you know, maybe three or four. Every, Depends on how long you're... Every feet or yeah. something like that. And how about um, dust control? Is there any problem with that? Oh, main thing is just calcium or whatever. You can get... Put some calcium down? Yeah. I yeah. guess that's only a problem if you have real long driveways. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Like I say, usually a 100-foot driveway, you don't get up enough speed to... Yeah. Stir up, but like I say, the more traffic on it, you grind her up into powder or stuff, the more dust is going to blow with the wind and everything else. Are there any um, differences in the types of rock that you put on driveway? I know besides size, are they made from any different types of rock? Or? No, just mainly, I use mainly usually use limestone. Limestone? Like I say, there is a few people that, uh, well, I got allergies or something like that in town. Yeah. They, they like to use a river rock, which is more expensive, and okay. like I say, it don't have any dust in it, and it's a harder rock where it don't break down. Yeah. And how many times a year do I need to make an application? Like on your driveway right here, you have a lot of traffic on this yeah. because you're hauling rock, but... You know, like I say, mine here, I'll, I'll probably touch it up three or four times a year. Okay. But a regular driveway where you don't have as much traffic and you know, whatever, you probably... You know, i got people get by two or three years up to five or six years. If I have a, about a 100-foot driveway, how much rock would I need? Well, it depends on the size and, and how yeah. deep you're going to put her and this and that. But average 100 foot by 9 feet wide, at, say, 2 inches, you're talking around... Eight ton or so. Eight tons of rock. Yeah. It's, it's more expensive for larger rock or smaller rock? Oh, your clean rock is more expensive than your what they call a road stone. It's like a one inch or whatever inch yeah. size it is down to dust. And what is clean rock? It's graded where you don't have your lime dust in it, the fine, okay. real fine rock in it. All right. In the winter, we push a lot of snow. How do we keep the rocks out of the grass? Well, mainly what I found out the best to do with my driveway, I, I designate an area where his rock's at, and I blade, okay. the, blade the snow you to there. You always blade the snow right there. Blade the snow there, and then in the spring when the snow melts, your rock's there on the rock, and you can pick it up and put it where you want to put her. That's a great tip. Thanks a lot for sharing that information, Roger. Okay, thank you.